Yo, 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 what's going on, world? It's your boy Najee from Cigar Talk. And today I got a very special guest, man. Seated to my left. Hey, this one of the hottest in Chicago doing it. I got my man, Lose Osama. What's going on, my dog? Lose Osama the Trends, baby. We in the building. What's up, Blah. G? How's everything, bro? It's all good, man. Living. You man, so know. well, first, I, I, I saw you on the, uh, the Rolling Loud lineup. Doing oh, yeah. the Rolling Loud. How, I how performed was, that Rolling Loud yesterday. Yeah. How, how, was, how was that experience? Like, Man, that bitch was lit, gang. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it was a little crowd at first. Yeah. They heard the right songs. They asked, got they started coming out everywhere. Over. How do it feel? Yeah, do yeah. it feel like? Cause obviously, I know, like you know, I be in Chicago a little bit here and there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I know you definitely buzzing out there for sure. When you yeah, in for different sure. different markets and different cities, what you feel like the reception is like? Like when you perform? I got those. I got like some cities that I feel like you know what I'm saying. We need to do a little more in to get everybody attention. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Then some cities would be just overly lit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like 50 50, 60 okay. 40, something like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, you just, you just dropped the tape, Trench Baby 3. Yeah, hell yeah, it's out now. Yeah, Let's for see sure. I'll go get that. Man, we, we definitely got to gotta get into some of the joints on there, but you got a couple joints on there. Oh, you fuck, fuck with it? Yeah, you got a couple joints what, what, I fuck what, with. What's some of your songs you fuck with? Uh, well, so first, let's talk about uh, Fuck a Big Homie. That's the, the intro. Ah, fuck a Big Homie, yeah. 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 Tell me about that. So, like, I think, you know, I've That was it's... like about a lot of the older guys, you feel me? One playing a part for all the younger niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Helping niggas stay afloat, supplying the shit that needed to be supplied through the hood. Like, just a whole bunch of shit came behind that song. But it's about my old homies, like, fuck a big homie. They ain't did shit for us. They ain't did shit they supposed to did for us, you feel me? So Do you feel let like them that? niggas be, we gonna be, you feel me? Like, I think that's, that was an interesting song, though, because, you know, you saying it kind of like, you know, the, the old niggas ain't really paved the way the right way. You yeah, know what I mean? Do you sure. feel like that? Like, growing up in the trenches, and, and, growing and up in the In my neighborhood, for sure. Yeah? Hell yeah. yeah. But what you mean? Is it more like they not getting? I had to game, get man. real, like real, like deep into it. It's like a lot of street shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't for the interview. <laughs> yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Okay. Now nah, I feel you. Do you feel like is that something that you feel like now? You know, you being who you are, and the young niggas coming after you, that you supposed to be giving. Oh game yeah, right all with? my young niggas love me. I take care of my niggas on the daily. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. We look out for each other on the daily. We with each other on the daily. We conversate, talk on the daily, like. Yeah. All types of shit, hell yeah. Especially who I am today, I got the funds to do what need to be done too, you right, feel Right, right, so, okay. All my niggas know what's up with me. Nah, that's what's up. Um, we definitely got to get into the uh, fuck my cousin. Oh, yeah. Dog, what's up? What, what your cousin did, nigga? Yeah. Like, I'm saying, he's like, damn. He's an op on okay. gang. Your cousin he's on the op? other side, yeah. For real? Op. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Hold, I think it's so I got like three, four cousins that's ops from the other side. How does that happen, though? Because it's like, obviously, this... It's family, like you don't have that. I ain't gonna lie, I, when I was growing up, I used to live in the projects, like 43rd Estate and shit. My, my whole family. What, what, where's that at? 40, 43rd Estate, okay. Robert Taylor Projects. I used okay. to live down there, my whole family. You know, we got some cousins that's real cousins, then we got some cousins that we just been around for yeah. years and just call them cousins. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, some, a lot of those oppositions, they on the, they on the other side from us, you feel what I'm saying? Right. But some of my family, some of them is my play cousins, but like we call them our cousins, cousins. too, you feel me? So yeah. they they on the other side though, they with the ops. Yeah, you was talking real. It's bloodshed behind that shit, so it can't be taken back. You feel yeah. Me? Oh, so it's too late. It's, it's already too late. It's I already. Say you, you said your auntie, auntie called my phone through Facebook, tell me squash yeah. it with my cousins. That's what I was gonna say. You said your auntie told you to nope. squash it. I ain't shit happening, T T. It's up. It's up. It's up. Damn, that's that's kinda crazy. So is it, when you think about it, like, even though they, you know, this blood, like, y'all niggas might run into each other at the family reunions and all that, it's still, like, it's, it's, a, it's yeah. whatever. I ain't gonna lie, like, the type of nigga I am, you feel what I'm saying? Like, the shit's so deep, I ain't seen niggas in years. We've not been locked up and having this shit going on. I ain't seen them niggas in years, so it's like, if I bump into them, I don't, my first reaction to probably be to get out. Yeah. Cause that's how I'm gonna feel a nigga gonna come at me, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I gotta be the first one to go first, you know? The part that, that they family, that don't make a difference to you? Hell no, nah, we said shit, did shit to each other that can't be forgotten, so it's like, mm. it's it can't move on now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like, I mean, the first one, it's a, it's a dope record. Like, you not already totally fucked up by hanging with them niggas that's trying to kill me. Mm. And you ain't so you back like though one of them niggas or nothing. Like, so like a lack of loyalty, like, basically. Yeah, it's a lot of shit, man. Yeah, okay. 
Um, you did part two. Obviously, you got part. I think it was part one on there at the end, and then part two with Dirk on there. Yeah, part one was by myself. Part two was with Dirk. Yeah. Um, you got Dirk talking greasy on that one too. Like Dirk really on some shit for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. Um, he really, he really hopped on that verse, killed that bitch. That ain't just no get anybody verse. Like yeah. he really put his hard work and time into that verse. You feel me? Yeah. So. Tell me about that. Like you just, you know, getting the Dirk verse. Obviously, like you know. <laughs> Dirk, the hottest, he said, he said on there, I'm bigger than Yeezy, this, you know, in the streets. We've been locked in since back then, like, you know what I'm saying? They circle, my circle, been fucking with each other since back the OTF then. the niggas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it just came. And my, my cousin, Jay Money, he, he from Old Block, you feel me? He was, like, close to Dirk, too. Yeah. So, that's another reason why we locked in. But, you know, I was doing my thing, bro was doing his thing. We got, we got songs in the past we did, too. Yeah. We dropped one called Treacherous. You ain't heard that? Treacherous? Yeah. Nah, I think I heard that Me one. Me and Dirk. That's yeah. crazy. If we would have dropped that shit while Dirk was like, but like now, Dirk? now, yeah. That bitch would be out the roof too. That was one of the ones too. That bitch got a lot of millions of views. I'm gonna on check YouTube. that out. So tell me about that, cause it's crazy, like, you know, outside looking in, like I don't know what it was just in Chicago for Dirk, but Dirk just started really getting lit, like super lit in the last like yeah, year or two. You know lit, what I'm saying? Lit, He's been yeah. going for a minute. What what did you take from that? I guess, you know, seeing them. Did you take anything from his journey? Like Man, going? stay consistent. Blood dropped so many tapes and projects and shit. You feel me? He was like going crazy, like keeping that shit in their face. Yeah. That's one of the things I took from him, like keep that shit in their face. It's a new artist here today. You got to stay relevant now. You feel me? Right. Uh, that's a fact. I think I heard, we, I think I heard you say something like, uh, when y'all shot the video, he pulled up with an M. Oh, yeah. He had an M in the bag. That's facts. Uh, yeah. I was the one recorded that whole little video. Recorded it? Yeah. Damn. And all the blogs grabbed that shit. I feel like that shit gotta be dangerous, like just having an M in the trenches, nigga. It's like you don't never. No, it ain't you know dangerous when you one of them niggas. It ain't shit you gotta worry about. You one of them niggas and you got them niggas behind you, so. Well, there's niggas everywhere, bro. You don't think it's like yeah, they're from the other I know, side but of long as we know what we gonna do, we ain't worry about them niggas. Yeah. Um, bro, we know what we gonna do, how we gonna come. Right, okay. Uh, another record I like on there, probably one of my other favorite joints, the uh, 41 Presidential. Oh, yeah, you know, Ice 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 we just Man. shot the video for that. Okay. I just watched the video last night. That shit finna come out. Hard? Yeah, it's finna come out. I like Put that record a lot. Put me on fucking charger. I like that record a lot. Tell me about, like, you know, your your, your mindset, like, when you kind of creating records like this and formulating I just, dope I just go, I just go off the moment. I ain't gonna lie. Or, like, what just happened... Today or yesterday or a week ago, or, you know, in my life, I just think of stories. In my, it depends on like I, the feeling, the mood I'm in. If you feel me? once I feel the vibe and get the mood I'm in, mm -hmm. then it's like, all right, boom, gonna do some drill shit on this song. Let me think of some shit happened in the past or some, you know, what right. I'm saying that I could put it, you know. So do it, do it mostly be like the beat kind of guide you the way you at, or is it just like a feeling nah, that you get? it's just a feeling that I get. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I could do any beat in this world you put in front of me. You feel me? It's just I, I got to be in, in a mood. You feel me? I got to feel it. Right. Okay. Um, talk to me about the setup record. That that was interesting. Set up with me and Fredo Bain? Yeah, that was an interesting joint because I think... Cuz hoes be out here like that for real. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Bitches be real live setups, you know? Is that shit that you get seen a, before? Hell yeah. I done been around this shit my whole life, man. Like, like girls man. setting you up? Cause you, I think you said something like you had a line, you was like, uh. Yeah, I understand. You got females that got brothers, sisters, cousins, and some bitches dumb as hell, head over heels over these niggas. Yeah. They can make their ass do anything. Mm. You feel me? Right. Hey, fuck with him so we can get him. Yeah. Follow him on the gram. Go DM. Don't hang with him for a few days. Niggas ain't. Niggas gonna fall for that. Niggas heads be don't be on. Niggas be falling for anything. Mm. Especially don't let her be a bad bitch. Right. It's over with. It's hard to kind of resist that, right? Like if you got a bad, if you got a bad, I don't get no fuck DMs. if you bad at anything nowadays. On my daughter, you not getting me. Nah. Don't get, you not getting me. So the baddest I'm going to everybody in your followers before we link up. Oh, I'm going to ask you a hundred <laughs> questions before we link up. Yeah. I'm going to send a motherfucking picture to the group chat, ask gang them if who. If they knew it. <laughs> all that. I'm going the whole way. Yeah. They do the research. I, hell yeah. You can't play like that game. Is it something you feel like you got caught up in shit like that before? Or was it just Yeah, like no. Stuff niggas, you niggas, niggas, a couple of niggas got caught up like that. You feel me? Yeah. And I just know. So 
I'm glad all them other niggas got caught up like that before right. me. Because I learned, I seen. Right. Listen, because I think I seen you put up a post um, on your story where it was like, if I got a girl, like, she got to know how to move. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, she got to know how to move. If she'll fuck around and get herself killed, then me killed. Mm. Is that yeah. something like a girl that a girl that you meet and is it like you got to put her on game or is it like she already got to know? If you if, if if you if you just meeting a bitch and you serious with her and you she in your everyday lifestyle, you you got to put her on game. You feel me? You got to teach her as you go. Yeah. She going to be with you and just going to get to learning. You feel right. me? All of how you move depends on who you is too. That's a fact. You feel me? She going to automatically know, but um, most of the females, I ain't going to lie, from Chicago, they up the par, like, as far as, like, street shit, because yeah. they so used to it. Everybody growing up gang banging in the streets and ooh, ooh, like, the bitches be knowing how to move and what's really going on, you right. feel me? Right, It's like Chicago motherfuckers advanced as hell. Why you think Chicago like that? Like, the energy of the city already so, like, just extra trenches in certain places. Not the whole Chicago, but why you think it's like that? I don't know, shit. I should have been like that for the longest. <laughs> <laughs> Since you remember, lie, it, hell like, yeah. So I remember, I went to it's so, like survival, folks. I ain't gonna lie. I, I went fucking... to. Uh, I used to work with G Herbo, and um, he took me to this spot. It was called the Factory. It was a little strip club, and I went. Oh, and yeah, was, yeah, I was yeah. walking up, and there was like three pat downs, two metals. I'm like, damn, how many niggas got shot? Yeah, yeah. Like, the Factory like, probably been shot up a hundred times. Yeah, shit. Like, a lot bro. of shootouts or some shit. It be going up at all the clubs in the rack, all on. But why you think why is why is Chicago like that in particular? Where it's just you know everybody call it the rack. Hey, everybody just rack. tough why as hell. Like everybody ain't going for nothing. Everybody ain't no lame, ain't no goofy. You know how that shit go, man. Yeah. You think is it ever a situation that you could see where shit can improve? Hell no, nah, niggas pride be in the way. Don't nobody want to seem like no goofy, no hoe, or no bitch. You feel me? Niggas ain't squashing no beef because they pride. You feel me? Mm. Niggas ain't niggas ain't no grown man time, and niggas gone forever. We on their ass. It's up. It's right. stuck. We ain't squashing beef. Yeah, that's how niggas coming. I mean, I, cause I respect that. Like that's to me, that's grown man shit. Especially once you start, you know, getting a little bread. Shit change when you yeah. got shit to lose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think I a see... lot of niggas don't be having shit to lose. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. And they ain't caring about the next man neither. So niggas gonna goddamn sabotage everything for the, everybody. Crashing out. Cause niggas ain't got their own shit going on. Right. I mean, I respect I respect you and uh, I saw at one point you and uh, PGF Nook had a little shit and it looked like y'all squashed that. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, hell yeah. It how wasn't, was that? It, like, wasn't, it wasn't never really nothing for real. It was just like he thought one of my homies them shot at him. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And he just went off about Zay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I'm down there the only name he know for real, you know. He is, so you he think is. it's by association, just because you who you are, the niggas that yeah. roll around. It was yeah. Like, oh, I'm but this. you know, I I was finna sign Nook before. You feel me? Like, oh, I didn't he know that. slept at my crib before and shit like that. Oh, so y'all me, already had a relationship? Yeah, I used to take him to the studio and shit like that. It wasn't for long, cause he had a lot of shit going on. I had to let him go his way and do his own thing too. You feel me? Yeah. But like, I was chopping it up with his management and shit, Bernie and shit, and um. And we had talked about the situation. I had saw them in California. We chopped it up right then and there. And then I just let all my homies know, like, we nipped that shit in the bud. Like, that shit ain't nothing. Then we we uh, was talking about putting a tape together and shit like that. And everything, ever since then, it's just been cordial since we yeah. had to talk. It ain't nothing. That's a little bro. Like, I yeah. was never looking at it like that. It's just that he was probably enraged for like He felt that he got shot at. And, he took it to the internet, you no know, kid shit, but it was what it was. We got past it though. I respect that, bro, for real. Like, yeah. I feel like, you know, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, tell me, like, just the difference in your mentality, like, young Zay, Yeah, I could have been, I could have, if this was the old me, I would have yeah. fuck around South folks and tried to beat them up, clap yeah. them or something, but like, yeah. Nah, I ain't on that shit no more. I'm on to something different. I'm thinking different, all type of shit, you feel me? And like, he, he was once my shorty, still my shorty, you feel me? So, if it's something that could be avoided, I ain't gonna take it to further. Yeah. You feel? What you feel like was the change or the shift in you that you started to mature as a man and kind of get past all the, the extra street shit, the unnecessary part of the street shit? Cause it's time to get money. It's time to take care of my family. I got kids, you feel what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be in the streets, every motherfucker day ducking and hiding, shooting, killing and drilling. That shit tiring, that shit overwhelming, <laughs> that shit. Every day when you live that life game, that shit is real life time. Niggas that be out here not really in it, they think it's fun and exciting. But when you really 
in them positions and in them moments, niggas draws be in their ass. You feel me? I could imagine. Like, I ain't never been on no super street timing because I don't want to be looking behind my back. Like, that's a lot of work. Yeah, that's a lot of a, energy. It, it's <laughs> a lot. Like, yeah. Motherfuckers gotta drive fast if you in the fishbowl so they can't see who in here. You gotta go on high speeds because you got guns on you all day. Like, right. it's just a lot. So what what point or what what age was it for you when you started? Because I know reading your story, it sounded like you know you you've been to the juveniles. You was, you oh, was yeah. active. Um, what was it that you feel like got you on some active shit? Was it just the neighborhood, like product of my environment type shit? Was it like? I'm just trying to get money. Like, Man, that it? shit was just in me growing up, bro. Like I told you, I grew up in the projects, and then once the projects got knocked down, I went to the blocks with it. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And like, motherfuckers on the blocks and shit, they ain't have that project mentality, that gutter mentality, that from the mud, trench baby mentality, because they went from the projects. When you was in the projects back then, that was like, that was like where it was busting at, where it was active at every day, like sh gunshots, police, bitches, drugs, money, killing. It was like Chicago was really the projects. Mm. You feel me? Then when the projects got knocked down, Chicago became this, yeah. you know? So I came from the projects and I went across California, you know what I'm saying, where I'm from now, 6300, bad side of Cali, you know? I went across there. Yeah. And shit, it just, been lit there since then, but that mentality come from my family, my uncles, like, they was active. you know, everybody that was around me, they was active, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And it was just falling over on me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? As yeah. I was growing up and shit. So tell me, like, all right, you, you, go, in, you go into jail as a, as a teenager, which was 13, 14? I was 15. 15. Just turning 16. What's the, like... When you get in there, what's the mind frame? Is it like, damn, like you kind of, like, keep it I, mean, I ain't you, gonna you, lie. You I mean, shit? Like, hell no, I'm not scared because I know it's regular niggas that be in the world in this bitch. It's niggas that be in the world in this bitch. It's niggas my age in this bitch. Then I know in my mind, it's not niggas in this bitch 30, 40. It's niggas in this bitch same age as me. Yeah. So you feel me? Whatever came to me, I was ready for it. That's, it, it's just, what got to me the most is me being away from my family and my bitch and like all type of shit like that. You mm -hmm. feel me? That's the only thing that got to me. So when I got up in that bitch, it was just like, I was chill. Yeah. I was already a little popular, so motherfuckers knew me, so <clears> motherfuckers <throat> was on dick. Like, you know, like whatever I want to have, I needed. Even the COs, too, they was rocking with me. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, they was fucking with me. I got into like two fights out of the whole time I've been in there. Yeah? Literally. Did you win? Huh? Did you win? Girl, niggas don't play with me, bro. <laughs> come on, Zay. Every Man, time, it, every time, you want both? No, look, come on, keep hey, it look, stacked. every time I, I fought, like you might have to lose look, one. gang, every time I fought, niggas always help me out the blue, gang. I swear to God, it could be a nigga that I don't even fuck with. Niggas would just say, I'm riding with you, bro. I'm <laughs> with you, bro. Yeah. Like, niggas on that type. I got snake before in jail, too, though. Like, a nigga came behind me, snake me. Hold up, paint the picture. We got to He my, came my behind me, snake me. CO grabbed him. I tried to run up and do my thing, but it was already over with. He ain't knocked me out, make me hit the flow, nothing. It was just like a look. But what was it over? Just like one of my ops. Oh, it was a but so you, yeah. did you know him already? Like okay. I ain't know him. I ain't yeah. know him. Hell no. But he was from the ops shit. I came on the deck. He was sitting down. I'm I had already seen a few niggas I know, so I'm like, what up? You feel me? And I had to start back talking to the CEO, because I know the CEO too. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, I just feel a little. <laughs> <Mop in this. laughs> a little mop on my neck. Hey, right. little phone him up. Right. Turn around on J Money. CO already got his ass cuffed up. I get trying to go hit his ass smoke. Why the CO got him? They got me up out of there. Dang, bro. That's the only time I've been snaked. All the other times we stumped up. niggas out. Yeah. Man, overkilt niggas. Like, yeah. Niggas in Chicago, they know me from jail too. Some niggas just know me from jail, not even in the streets. You feel right. me? Do you feel like, what do you feel like you missed out on just having your youth in jail? Like, what's the thing? Do you feel like you missed anything? That part of your life? Hell yeah. My, my motherfucking childhood. I told you I was in jail, like, like, literally, I don't think since I was, like, 14, I seen the whole year out of jail, like, in life. Since I was, like, 14 until I turned 19. Damn. You feel me? Even like when I was 12, 13 years old, if I was in the station, like crazy, you know how they gotta do the like, you, you gotta have enough points to go to the jail. They'll yeah. take you to the station, but you gotta have enough points to go to the jail. Right. I've been ran past all, all the, the points. points. 
all that shit. Man. Hell yeah, I was out here tweaking. We used to beat up crackheads, go in the stove, wreck the <laughs> oh, stove. Oh, man, y'all beat up the crackheads? We used to, boy, we used to be all type of shit, 12, 13. We used to do yeah. all type of shit, stolen cars. This one, we weren't going no high speeds, though. We would take a stolen car, and police would get on us. We would pull over and hop out. Now we ain't stopping. We <laughs> going. At you, it's up. <laughs> right. Fun, did you do, You did time as an adult, too? I did a little bit of time as an adult. I did, like, a couple months. It wasn't nothing major. Okay. Cause when I when it was adult time and I got out, I got locked up for some like trespass and shit in the like striker, and then I got locked up. That was for trespass. And other than that, I, don't, I ain't got locked up since I've been an adult for real. Cause I've been on my shit doing what I need to do. Yeah, that's what's up. When did you? At what point was it that you realized like you could do rap for real? Like this ain't just. I like always shit. realized that. I you always knew, that, knew that in my mind since I was a kid. I can let you hear songs from way, way, way back then. Yeah. And let you hear it, you're going to be like, man, this sound like one of these niggas' songs from right now. Damn. Like, I've been having that type of voice, sound, wave, all that since way back then. Yeah. You feel me? Like, right. real loud when I was 11, 12 and shit. Damn, that's crazy. Real what, what music. Was, what was the point that you felt like Chicago, the town, started really gravitating to you? What was was there a specific when I, when record? I, when was I, I dropped that changed up. When I got oh, out of jail, I dropped one. that changed up. Because I, I was already popular. Me and this other Chicago artist, we had beef, and we was, like, dissing and shit. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you think that beef got you, got shit <coughs> hot? <coughs> <coughs> that, got, that, got, that got shit hot for sure. Hell yeah, back then, that's all they wanted to see, guns in the videos, niggas dissing. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, hell yeah, it was getting hot. Then I had got locked up, and when I got out, that's when I dropped Changed Up. But like the momentum was there because I was locked up for so long and then I had got shot and then went to jail. So people thought I was dead, you mm. know what I'm saying? All type of shit. I went to jail. So Where you it got was shot like at? in my chest right here. Yeah. It was like momentum, like when I was coming home, everybody was like, damn, Jay coming home. Wow, let's see what he finna do now, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I came home and shit, got on my shit, dropped that changed up. That's when that thing went up for me. What is it like, like when you getting shot in your chest, that's like Close was, to, they said it was that could an, be they one said it was inch away from my heart. <sighs> Bro. How, what is that? To, what is, to describe the moment. Like I don't know the setting, but what's the what's the moment? Like you my realize homie, like I'm shot. Like my homie Goofaz, man, free wigs. My homie wigs. We was on um 62nd and what was on 62nd and Laughlin, I think. We was standing on the corner. We was watching some hoes fighting and shit like that. After the hoes get through fighting. No, nah, they were still fighting. A nigga, some niggas pulled up in the car. They told my homie, like, you know you're supposed to be right here. You feel me? So he called my other homie, like, bring the pipe down here. Niggas just tweaking. Mm -hmm. So my homie come down there with the pipe. We still out there watching the whole fight. So we like, man, them niggas ain't no shit. They ain't finna come back. My homie walked back down to the other corner with the pipe. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, a nigga come off the side, get the banging. Boom, boom, boom. In the car? Or did nah, you he up? came and walked up. He was like by the alley a little bit. He get to shooting. The first shot hit me, I get hit in the chest. I, I run in like the little field where a lot of grass was at. I had between the grass. He bumping at my homie them. I'm looking at him. Hey, I'm right here on the this. side of him. So you just shot looking at this whole I'm thing. shot looking at him, but he don't see me. If he just saw me, he'd probably finish me off. Right. I'm right here on the side laying in the grass. He's standing up right here bumping at my homie them. I'm right here laying down. You feel me? But I was Crazy. quiet. He couldn't hit me. How bad did it hurt? It ain't, it ain't really hurt. It started hurting like after I got into the hospital. Yeah. I took that nap and I woke up. I couldn't even move, gang. Like, so the whole thing just. I, I was shot right here, but literally, nigga, when I say from my shoulder to my stomach, couldn't move. move. Man, bro. How long it took you to like recover? I got locked up. They ain't never let me out the hospital. When I woke up, I was cuffed to the bed. And then I, I went to juvenile like the next day. And I was on medical. They got a, um, a place like if you come in injured or anything like that, they'll put you on medical until you heal. Yeah. So I was on medical for like a month and a half. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I know we we getting ready to wrap up, but tell me like, what do you do to kind of how you school the young niggas that gotta go through this shit? The young the young little Zays that's in the trenches right now. It's crazy right because how do they niggas avoid this? don't how do gotta go it? through this. So to, you how feel what I'm Because it feel like sometimes niggas. if you young in the trenches, it feel like certain shit just come to you. Yeah, but like if you strong man in the head, like you can avoid certain shit. You feel me? Like yeah. I, it just all depends on who you is. 
Niggas got to get in these programs, get in these, you know what I'm saying, schools and goddamn do what they supposed to do. The streets is going to lead to dead or in jail. Yeah. You feel me? And the only two places you can go with this shit. I'm bro. So, I don't know. Nah, it's, it's crazy, man. I definitely want to, you know, just make sure we inspiring the youth to try to do some some yeah, different shit. I was so on, I when, was I, when I rap and I do my music and I do everything, it's just telling my life and how I overcame. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't never want niggas to take my footsteps with the negative shit and do what I did. I'm just, you feel me, happy I overcame this shit and could even express my situations and tell my stories to people so they know what not to do, you know what I'm saying, right. to go through this shit too. Right. Nah, that's yeah. a fact. Cause I, was, I was in Chicago maybe about a month ago uh, with Fast Money In. I was on Oh yeah, that's my little bro. Field. Shout out Fast Money In. Yeah, I like bro. that record y'all did together. To, uh, say that. Say that, yeah, yeah. Is he one of the, the young niggas coming he up He's one of the young niggas that's... coming up for sure. I always be having talks with him. He always hit my line. That's a little bro. Okay. Now that's what's up, man. Lil Zay, I'm, I'm, I appreciate you pulling up, dog. Yeah, I already know. We, appreciate we looking... you for having me. Tell dude. me, but lastly, uh, how do you continue to level up? Like, what does leveling up for you look like? Leveling up for me, man, look like why I'm here. You <laughs> feel me? Yeah. Uh, keep on moving, man. Keep dropping music. Keep doing interviews. Keep streaming my shit. Keep dropping my episodes of my movie, Trans Baby 3, out right now, man. Make sure y'all go get that. And just running up this paper, man. You know that. Uh, fuck with it. Man, shout out Little Zay Osama. Appreciate you, know, you pulling up. Appreciate you. Dope episode of Cigar Talk. We out of here. Glock.